Paul in Ormskirk says, is Lancashire Police best placed to investigate any allegations of police corruption, Clive? <clears throat> well, police corruption, um, <clears throat> in the first instance, would be it would be investigated internally, but if it's um, corruption within the force, <clears throat> and we've got concerns about things that are happening within Lancashire, we would we would ask other forces to come in to investigate, and vice versa. Uh, Lancashire police officers would investigate um, concerns, if you like, in, in other forces. <clears throat> so, I mean, without knowing what the what the concern is, mm. you know, corruption could, could be anything. I mean, we deal with, for example, police complaints, and most of the complaints we get about police are, are really attitude and... And, you know the individual behaviour more than anything else. They go in directly to the police. They are dealt with by police standards, and my office then oversees any appeals against that. And most of those situations are resolved, you know, to to everyone's satisfaction. Corruption is, is different. I mean, corruption would ab absolutely have to be taken really seriously. There's no, you know, it's unacceptable in any form. If there's any allegations of that, I would urge anyone to come forward uh, because it's vitally important that the public have trust and respect for the police. And if that falls down in any way, then it needs to be challenged. So there's oversight. It's dealt with, like I said, externally. Our office deals with appeals, and you know I think that uh, in recent years, you know I think the Lancashire is in a good place. But if people have got concerns, let's know about them. Clive, good to speak to you. That is the Police and Crime Commissioner for Lancashire, Clive Grunshaw, who's been answering your questions, who's been in the hot seat this afternoon.